of you Packers out there, have we got a segment for you. It's fondue with beer to celebrate instead of wine. We have got Chef from the Beer Market here. Look at this. Mm. Cheese is being cut. Beer is being poured. And we're going to make something delicious. And you say this is better than wine because it helps you digest. Absolutely. Is that right, Chef? Oh, everything is better than wine. Looking Especially forward to it. Especially when we're talking about beer. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I love wine, though. So here we go. Yes, you know what's sexy, my friends, is a gorgeous table setting with nothing but fondue. How romantic. Here to take us through how you can make it at home is Michael Cipolo, executive chef of the beer market. You're offering this up right now in the restaurant. Uh, yes, we are. We're currently running our fondue festival for uh, up through February 27th, and we're nice winter warm-up, nice way to enjoy a sociable uh, afternoon or evening with friends, uh, uh, a Sunday brunch, mm. perhaps change it up a little, a little bit. And uh, what we're doing, what we're doing here is we're going to show you how we do it different down there, which is uh, by cooking it with beer. Beer, because you, you're lager. used to pairing it with wine. Absolutely. So what type of beer, first of all, do you use? Does it matter? Well, you can use all types of beers, and I've got a few examples. I do a, a wonderful cheese and lager using the, the classical cheeses of Appenzell, Reclette, and Emmental, mm. but uh, instead of the wine, we use the beer. And it, it lends a much uh, a much more earthy flavor to it. Works very well with the cheeses. So, do you is this coming to a boil? This no. is coming. This is coming to a simmer. Okay. So much like when you would start with wine, we start the same way with a little bit of beer. I've got some of the cheeses grated here, and then essentially what you're doing is you're just dropping all these right in here. So how much how much beer to cheese? You know, it really depends on the cheeses you're using. I mean, if you're just making fondue for say four people around home, you could probably get away with about a half cup of beer and then maybe about 200 grams of cheese or about a half a cup to a cup of cheese okay. grated and mix whatever you like four to six. well depending on how much you like cheese it might be enough for wine yeah. if you're a big cheese lover but uh, an important thing a very very important thing with uh, melting cheeses is you never want to whisk oh really you don't want to you don't want to spin because what that'll do is that'll make it all stringy and messy you always want to go in the form of an s if you can good tip and you can see this is already starting to melt down so in the form of an s yes so like kind of ash shape, nice and slow, medium, medium, low heat, because you don't want to burn the cheeses. Okay. Um, we do that later. What I've got here, and these are great. This is a, you know, somebody's grandmother's probably got a few of these. This is a nice enamel cast iron pot. You can actually do this right here or even at the table right on your burner. And what we do is, is we, ha we have an alcohol burner. I've got some finished product here. Okay, so what else, what's this pot? That's just a little bit of cream that I'm starting to uh, warm up to show you guys how easy it is to do a uh, dessert fondue as well. And then when it comes to uh, dipping, you have, I noticed, bread as well as, are those These steamed are, potatoes? Those are some fingerling potatoes that have been uh, boiled off a little bit. Apples are fantastic with savory cheeses. Of course, breads, pickles, cornichons, sausages. Um, you have some hard and fast rules, which I love too, that I didn't know. Well, we know don't double dip. That's just bad. Don't double, don't double dip. dip. Don't double dip. Pick a corner and stick to it. Exactly. You can see it color coded. It's all, they figured all this out a long time ago. And then if you drop your fondue while dipping. Why dipping? If, if it falls off, then you got to kiss somebody. Or you owe the person to the right a drink. Or you owe the person to the right. So <laughs> if you're not into so the So if you don't want right to buy way. somebody a drink and you don't want to kiss nobody, don't eat fondue with anybody. <laughs> well Stay done. away from for it. For more information, thebeermarket.com. If this feels too complex for you to do at home and you just want to enjoy it prepared for you, you're actually featuring this on the menu up until February 27th. February 27th. Absolutely. Beautiful Book now. idea. Thank you so much, Chef. Great. Right now over to Jen. Hey, Jen, we've got the entree. You've got the dessert covered.